Watch how easy it is to build a website super fast using the Divi 5 framework. So over here, I can go in and enable multi-select and choose my classes. So for example, let's say I want text which is uh, three times large. I can also choose my font weight, which is going to be, let's say, uh, light. 300 and um, what else do I need to do? Let's say you want to go in and uh, justify the text. And over here, we want to uh, give it a background color, which is a light gray. I'm gonna select my light gray here. And then finally, I want to give this a bit of padding. I'm gonna select my padding here. I can now go onto my page, add a text module, and then after I add my text module, I all I need to do is to go to advanced, CSS ID and classes, and then just paste it. Now, do you see how easy that was? I did not need to go into the design tab and start making all these adjustments. This would have taken me a couple of minutes because I would have gone to the text here, set my color, scroll down, go into my spacing here, make sure that my padding is all set. And then finally, I will need to go into the uh, contact tab and make sure that my background color is added. Now that will take me a bit more time, but you know what? With this new update, it's going to be awesome. Designing websites with Divi has literally changed using the Divi 5 framework. Now, let me show you all the updates. So when you install Divi 5, you're going to get an entry here called Site Crafter. Here we are going to have your quick access links straight to the documentation. And by the way, we have documentation now. It's not complete yet, but we have now documentation. So if I click here, it's gonna open into a new tab. And this is where the documentation is going to be. So installing Site Crafter, you click here on this tab and then it will show you, you know, step by step, what you need to do to install Site Crafter. I mean, look at that. Isn't that cool? Next, we also have a support tab, video tutorials, and a link to the community. Here we have a quick start video. This will show you how to get up and running super fast with this new version of SideCrafter Pro. Next, we have our style guide. Now this style guide is super powerful because you can now go in and choose your colors. So let's say you choose this color here, you make a few adjustments like that. Uh, you adjust the lightness as well, like that. And let's say this is your primary color over here. Again, we're gonna make a few adjustments. Let's say this is going to be your accent color, right? So with these two colors now, these are the main ones we need. And if I scroll down here, these are our color swatches based on our primary color. So whenever you want to know what color it is uh, that you have on the scale, PRI 500 or primary 500 is the actual color. The rest are just shades. So this is a lighter shade going all the way down to primary 50. Now, after the primary 500, these are all the darker shades, okay? You always need to remember that. Same applies with the accent color. So if I come over here, the accent color is right here. Same thing, accent 500 here is the main color and then the rest are just shades. And then finally, we have our grayscale here and we also have our typography scale. Excellent. So now that we have this, we have set all our colors here. All you need to do now is to click here to copy color tokens. Now, remember before we used to go in and try to memorize these colors or write them down on the side and say 26675, and then we go into our fluent snippets and then we start typing it. Now we don't even need to do that. We just need to copy it, come over here to your, to your file, delete that, and then paste the new colors just like that. Copy and paste. This is now much, much easier. Now, once you've done that, click update snippet. Now our website has now got all the updated colors. Okay, so with the updated colors now, now check this out. I can now go in and start adding all my colors. So if I go to my section settings here, I don't need to go to background here and start messing around with, uh, with all these colors, variables and all of that. All I need to do is to come over here to advanced CSS ID and classes. And I can just say BG. Now, depending on what color I need to put in there. Now, can you see here? BG primary 50. You see, if I, if I come back over here to SiteCrafter Pro and go to my style guide, this is our primary 50. That's how the color is going to look. Okay, if you don't believe me, I'm gonna go in BG, primary 50.
Okay, do you see that? It's updated. If I need to change it again, I can just go in here, get rid of that, and then say BG. Now you can see the primary there is there. Let's go with 300 this time. You see that? So this color here is exactly this one here. I mean, how cool is that? So all my primary color shades are already there and also my accent shades are also there as well. Okay, now let's let's add that as well. So I'm gonna come over here to my text module and we're gonna go to advanced, CSS ID and classes and I'm gonna add my class. So I'm gonna say BG, this time it's gonna be accent. So let's go back, okay, BG. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my um, accent colors. So it's gonna be BG. Now I'm gonna add my accent. So it's gonna be A. And then now you can see all my accent colors. So I'm gonna go with, uh, let's say 400. Now, do you see that my color hasn't been, hasn't been applied? That is because I have a BG gray 200. So I need to get rid of that first. And now I have my accent color. Now, when it comes to the text, I can also go in and change the text color. But first of all, I need to remove the font light. And then I can go in and say uh, text. Perhaps maybe it's going to be gray for my color. So I'm going to go with gray 100. Okay, so you can see my color has been updated. So at any point, you can literally go in and start changing all these colors. So let's say this color here is not looking, you know, great. I can go back in and say, okay, so this BG Accent 400 is not looking great. Uh, what can I do? I can come over here, change that to, let's say, 600. You see that? I can go 700, 800. So managing all my colors has now become much, much easier. And it doesn't end there. I can literally go in here, get rid of all this text, right? And let's say I want to change this into a totally different heading, right? So I can remove now the text 3XL, right? Get rid of all of that. And then I can go in now and say SK heading because that is our heading size, our custom headings. So let's go with 8XL. Now, do you see that? Now, right now, it's showing like this because we have text justify. Okay, so let's remove text justify. Now, this is how you're going to be going in and editing in real time. And you are not spending time in the design tab. Everything is happening over here. I mean, isn't that awesome? We can also do something really cool here. Right here in our section settings, I can go in and say, okay, I want to add my uh, uh, sizes for my section. So I can go in and say, you see? SEC, and right now I could my section padding M, choose that, and now my padding has been added. I know these colors look ugly and all of that, but I'm just showing you how easy it is to access all the information that we need to build our website super fast. Now, if you're a design agency or you're a freelancer, if you come back to this website, let's say a month later or weeks later, you don't have to spend time trying to find out where all your changes were made. All you need to do is to come to this advanced tab, all these uh, settings here are saved. Okay. They don't go anywhere. They're all saved. And it's easy for you now to come in here and say, oh, okay. So section padding M, what the hell is that? You come over here, you go to your reference, you come all the way down here and then you say, oh, okay. These are my custom headings. All right. Okay, cool. So they're all here. So every time you, 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 you forget, uh, let's say a class, you can just come over here and double check. But I can guarantee you that the more you play around with this, you're going to familiarize with this because at the end of the day, whatever you're going to do here, you're going to learn, you know, how these are going to work anyway as you're designing your website. Look, we even have our hover classes. We can, we can add hover onto, onto uh, our designs here. So there's a lot that we can do with our Sidecrafter Pro framework. So let's get rid of this. And I want to show you now another update. And this update is also very, very important. Now, sometimes it may be that you, you might not be able to find uh, all the classes 
uh, in here. Like for example, I don't think Grid is here. Uh, I am definitely updating. Oh, Grid is here actually. Okay, <laughs> so let's let's test this Grid. Okay, we're gonna come over here to row settings. We're gonna come over here to our column, and in the advanced, if we start typing, you know, it's going to show us everything that relates to that particular class. So this one here is going to be grid. And you can see straight away grid. I can do space and then do another grid, space, auto, and it's it's, it's right there. I mean, look at this. It automatically updates everything for me. This is the most powerful way to design websites with DV5. And it is very, very fast, it's scalable, and it's very easy to maintain your websites. Very, very easy. I mean, this could be maintaining your own website or maintaining your client's website. Once your team masters how uh, this works, it's gonna be very, very easy for you to, uh, to apply this into your design agency or your freelance uh, business. All right, so uh, we also have Div University. If you haven't signed up for Div University yet, go ahead and sign up for Div University. This is a platform for uh, Div users. So go ahead and uh, become a member. It's absolutely free. Here's our community. And this is where people are always communicating, you know, and uh, pretty much you can get some questions answered here. You can get some inspiration and so on. And also, also if you want to support me, uh, you can do so by buying me a coffee over here on the top right. Uh, so if you click that uh, and scroll down, you can see here we have one coffee, two coffees, three coffees. You can buy as many coffees as you want. And finally, finally, Sitecrafter Pro. Now, this is very important because with Sitecrafter Pro, the pricing is definitely going to change. You can see the development of this is going super fast. Now, I have this as 297, right? This is for unlimited websites and you get all your updates and i'm also giving you access to Divi university which is going to by the way be costing you know upwards of 499 per year so this 297 covers pretty much everything okay and for those of you that are a bit on a budget there's also a split payment so you can pray you can pay <laughs> 99 dollars for three months and pretty much uh, if you pay your first payments you're locked in uh, you won't be affected by the price increase, uh, which is going to happen in a, you know, in a few uh, in a few days. Because now, uh, Sitecrafter has been advanced to a point where it's ready for prime time. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for your support and patience. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.